Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a special Halloween season package opening. Yes, courtesy of my longtime friend and associate, Thrustbone. Yeah, longtime viewers might remember Thrustbone from back in the early, early days of Saturday Night Insanity. In fact, if you look at some of the archives, you can see him in some of the old videos. But uh, yeah, we've been keeping in touch over the years. We still chat once in a while, and uh, he just got a hankering to send me a package. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what treasures await inside Thrustbone's package today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Yeah, we went with the singular for the title because, well, it was funnier than pluralizing it. Now, Thrustbone sent along a letter, uh, not in physical form, because these packages came direct from Amazon. So he just sent it to me in a message to read when I was doing the package opening video. So let's give it a read, shall we? Dear Sean, 1,000 on-screen deaths in a single film. Beautiful women surrendering to devil worship, young lovers destined to destroy each other. Kurt Russell. I know reading that immediately gets you wet for the Thrustbone cinematic universe, but you'll have to wait to see that. I hope the hodgepodge selection of personal favorites found within can provide with enough viewing and review potential until, as well as long after, that time you'll definitely find something to talk about. Sincerely, Thrustbow. Okay, well, um, I am definitely intrigued. He was very thorough in going through my videos and package openings and updates and everything and collection overviews. He wanted to make really sure that I didn't have any of these items. He's pretty sure I don't, but... We're about to find out. <laughs> I told him all the best ways to search, and obviously he can't just flat out ask me, do you have this? Because that would ruin the surprise. But uh, he said he was pretty sure I didn't have it. He doesn't recall seeing it in my collection overviews or anything like that. So um, I guess we'll find out. I'm definitely curious from that letter. Lots of tantalizing hints. Shall we see what, uh, what awaits? All right, let's check it out here. So let's go with, uh, we'll go with this one first. For whatever reason, they sent them in two packages. They do this with mine sometimes too. Uh, sometimes I guess it's, they have different warehouses. So certain things come from different warehouses. I'm guessing that's what happened here. They both actually arrived on the same day. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we got in here. So, yeah, there we go. Perforated from Prime. There we go. Let's see what we got here. So it's a Blu-ray of some kind. We have... Oh, nice. I definitely don't have this one. We have My Name is Nobody, classic western starring Terrence Hill and Henry Fonda. Nice, 40th anniversary edition. I have never seen this. From the creator of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Once Upon a Time in the West, International Classic Films, a Sergio Leone production. Nice. Yeah, the only Sergio Leone ones I have are actually the um, Demand With No Name trilogy. I've got a box set of them. And... Um, yeah, great stuff. Music by Ennio Morricone, directed by Tonino Valeri, who did Day of Wrath and My Dear Killer, and I guess produced by Sergio Leone. So it's not one that he directed, but very, very cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy that. I do enjoy some uh, Italian westerns. I just take my glasses off here. Uh, there, youthful face. Okay, so let's take a look at Thrustbone's big package. There's, uh, feels like there's a bunch of stuff in here. We're just going to gently let it settle down to the other end of the package here. Let's see what we got. So, good old bubble nailers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we got a bunch of stuff in here. So let's, uh, well, we'll just grab the first thing that I feel. What do we have? We have... Hey, another Western. We have Christian Bale, Rosamund Pike, and Wes Studi in Hostiles, a 
film by Scott Cooper. Very cool. I have not heard of this one. I'm sensing a theme here. Am I about to get a pile of westerns? Is that why there's so many deaths? <laughs> it could be just coincidence that I picked up the westerns first. So, all right, let's see what else we got here. We have... Oh, nice. Kurt Russell in Bone Tomahawk, which is actually one I have not seen and do not have. So, so far we're three for three. No duplicates yet. I uh, was really worried about that. He's like, I, so, I, I really hope you don't have these, but uh, pretty awesome. Very cool. Yeah, I'm always down for any Westerns with Kurt Russell. Uh, loved Tombstone, for example, which I still have to get, actually. I'll have to pick that up one of these days. So let's see. What else do we have here? Another, another Blu-ray. Oh, something is... One is stuck to the other. Oh, here we go. We have... Oh, there we go. This is... Uh, this was the uh, the Devil Worship one. He's talking about a Paul Nashi film. Good old Paul Nashi. I've been meaning to get into his stuff. I know he's considered kind of a legend from of the uh you know sort of 70s schlock 60s and 70s schlock cinema we have inquisition yeah very nice indeed so this one is uh directed by jacinta molina from 1976 very cool and quite a, i've never heard of this uh, label before mondo macabro uh it's quite a massive list of extras here HD transfer, newly created subtitles, English or Spanish audio choice, introduction by Paul Nashi himself, interview with star Daniela Giordano, audio commentary, uh, Blood and Sand, a documentary on Spanish horror. Very cool. Nice. Well, I'll definitely enjoy checking this out. I'm always down to get some more, uh, you know, exploitation horror from the 60s and 70s into the collection. Oh, something, oh, something that has a slipcover. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got? We have, oh, nice, from the Vestron Video Collection. I've been wanting to get more of these for ages. I just haven't got around to it because they tend to be a little pricey. There's some spooge on here. There's some spooge from Thrustbone's package. <laughs> we have the double bill of Waxwork and Waxwork 2. Very nice. I think the only other Vestron video uh, title I have is um, uh, Beyond Reanimator. That's the one. So we'll set these aside here. We'll put the horror next to the westerns. This is why I did it as a Halloween one, because I knew that I had a feeling there was going to be some horror stuff in there. Oh, we got another slipcover here. Feels nice and bumpy and embossed. I'm not up on my braille. I can't tell what it is just from the feel. So let's take a look here. We have... Oh, nice. I'm guessing this is based on the uh, the anime. We have Blade of the Immortal. Look at that. Nice, shiny, bumpy slipcover. Very nice. Oh, and even the, even the, the like, ticks are um, uh, embossed. That's very cool. Nice. From Takashi Miike. Nice. Uh, another director whose work I've been meaning to get into for a very long time. And I just have not gone around to it, so that will be uh, good to see. And finally, we've got one more here. One more we have. Oh, nice. I've actually had my eye on this one because I've been slowly amassing samurai films. I want to do like a month or two of samurai films at some point. We have Shinobi, Heart Under Blade. There you go, from Funimation. Very cool. Is this uh, Was this a show or was this a movie? I can't remember. I know there was like a show that was something along these lines. So yeah, it looks like this one is a movie. Very cool indeed. And it has 80 minutes of extras as well. Very cool. Holy moly. So quite a mix of stuff. So we got some westerns. We got some schlocky horror. And we got some samurai action. So just to recap, we have... And no duplicates. Not a single duplicate. So Thrustbone can sleep at night now. So we got three new westerns for the collection. We got Bone Tomahawk, Hostiles, and My Name is Nobody. Very nice. And then we got a couple of samurai epics. We've got Blade of the Immortal and Shinobi. Uh, Hard Under Blade. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. And finally some schlocky horror for the Halloween season. Inquisition and waxwork one and two double bill very very nice that is awesome well 
Thank you so much, uh, Thrustful. That is way more than I was expecting. Holy crap, that is that is amazing. Look at that. Stacks and stacks of stuff. Thank you so much. I'm really going to enjoy these, uh, dude. Um, yeah, fantastic. Excellent. And no duplicates. <laughs> I know that was a huge concern. He was like, don't worry. If there's any duplicates, just let me know. I kept the gift receipts. And it's, it's like, it's okay. It's okay, dude. Don't worry about it. If there's duplicates, you know, I'll, I'll re-gift them to somebody. It's no big deal. But, um, yeah. Anyway, big thanks to Thrustbone and his big package. A man with big cojones indeed. And who, I mean, really went out of his way to pour through my videos and use YouTube's convoluted search system to the best of his ability to make sure I didn't have any of them. I try to tag my videos pretty thoroughly. So even though you can't see the tags, it should pick it up in the searches. So if you're like wanting to send me something or whatever, or just wondering if I have something or wondering if I've done a video about something, if you just put the title into the video search, you should be able to find it. Like I go to pretty great lengths to make sure everything is searchable and indexable and, and whatnot on my uh, YouTube page. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Although I noticed lately the search seems to be focusing more on titles and descriptions than tags, which is kind of annoying. I mean, I thought the whole purpose of tags was to have something indexable and searchable. Please don't get rid of tags, YouTube. It's good to have all three title description tags. Anyway, thank you once again, Thrustbone, and thank you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day, and we'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara. Thank you.